Boots. Let's have a look at the latest top games of all time. They are decided with various sources using Metacritic reviews from critics as well as user ratings to get the most accurate and fair result. Hope you enjoy it guys. And for today we'll have the results from 10th best to 6th best. The next episode comes out this Friday with 5th best to the best game ever made. Number 10 was a hard choice and many of these came down to very nearly missing out on a spot to being further up on the top 10 list. That's right peeps, number 10 best game is Red Dead Redemption. It was known for its GTA feel but in a western setting, with stunning visuals, a story which gamers find short because they enjoyed it so much and wanted more. With the game having good value, as there are many collectibles, weapons, rare horses and the multiplayer which was hours of fun. This would have to be my favourite game of all time, I can't wait for Rockstar to make part 2 which is apparently in the making. Closely in on 9th best is a huge franchise, Minecraft, which is now owned by Microsoft but available on just about every console and handheld in the market. This massive game has no end, literally, you can just keep walking and walking and walking and building just about anything you wish. The cube theme is what makes Minecraft most known for and you can just about find videos, books, toys and even lunch boxes based on this game. The multiplayer is massive and you can just about jump into anyone else's game, help them build castles or even fight off creatures. There is a huge fan base with continual updates including themes and tweaks to better the game. Number 8 has to go to Soul Calibur on Sega Dreamcast. Although this was an older fighting game, it somehow made a huge name for itself with many fans of the fighting game genre saying it cannot be beaten. According to many, it has been a game perfect for beginners as well as professionals for the genre. The professionals also state that character balance is close to, if not perfect to each other, meaning it comes down to skill rather than overpowered characters which people would choose to win all the fights. Number 7 goes to Half-Life 2. Just about everyone should know this one. It has been named a classic and won so many awards until this day there are many jokes and sites dedicated to its sequel Half-Life 3 coming out if it ever does. The game came in bundles such as Orange Box with other games as well as DLC or add-ons to Half-Life 2 in which you could experience Half-Life 2 from other perspectives. I guess you could call this game a wonderful action slash puzzle game and it is one you can find yourself enjoying over and over again. In its time people adored its graphics and physics engine and until this day many people talk about Half-Life 2 and play it. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. And in at 6th best game to date is The Last of Us. There are not many words I can say about this game which can truly explain how great this game really is. For those who have played it know perfectly well how amazing this work of art is. The visuals, the fighting physics, the characters, the enemies and the suspense could not have been done any better I believe. The Last of Us is one of those games that you wish you could just keep playing. The creators did a wonderful job in building up love for the characters in the game. The zombies as well as humans are the enemy and you find yourself being forced to think through the battles rather than than running in guns blazing. If you haven't already played this, please go out and get it for yourself. There is a PS4 version, the remastered version of this is truly a must buy. And that about does it for today's episode peeps. Come back by Friday to get the rest of the winners, fifth to the first best ever. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe to this channel to further support my videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.